Let's turn this into this. Cracked on the outside, not on the inside. We're going to use sodium silicate to make this effect. We will need sodium silicate, a clean brush, and a bowl. So it cracks the external portion of the clay while leaving the inside perfect. The first thing we need to do is throw a cylinder on the pottery wheel. Leave the walls twice to three times as thick as you would normally throw them so that you have room to stretch out the belly. You can think of it like those pants you wore to Thanksgiving. Extra room for extra food. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. After your cylinder is formed, use a rib to scrape off the excess slip from the outside of the form. It's not necessary to put underglaze on at this step. I decided to do it so that you would be able to see the cracks as they form. If you do underglaze, dry it a little bit with a heat tool, brush on a layer of sodium silicate, and then dry it. Then you're going to take a damp sponge on the inside of the pot and just push out from the inside. I trimmed a little more of the sodium silicate off the foot so it wouldn't crack as it dried. Now I'm going to have to let this dry for a few days and then bisque fire it and we'll come back and I'll show you what a clear coat on top looks like. Now after you're done throwing and using the sodium silicate, go ahead and wash out your paintbrush and wash out your tray that your clay, the, what's that thing called? The tray around your pottery wheel? Small scraps can be recycled of sodium silicate, but if you get it on a big piece and really screw it up, just throw it away. I'd like to thank Passler for sponsoring this video and for sending me this product. I really like it and the effect is so cool. I will put the Amazon link to this product in the comments under the video. There's a couple of things that you want to keep in mind and one is the thicker the walls are, the more you can push it out. The longer you leave the sodium silicate on the surface, the longer it can soak in and the deeper it can go if you want really deep looking cracks. You could let it soak in for about 10 minutes and then come back and dry it. I think an awesome combo would be dark clay with white underglaze or like a cream color underglaze so you see those dark cracks really stand out. I left the bowl that had the sodium silicate sitting in it where it dried up in the bottom. I left it sitting with water in it overnight and all of it rinsed out so it does dissolve in water. I'm happy to report and my wheel tray is not destroyed. I've, I just scrubbed it out. It's no big deal. Most of these pieces just got three coats of zinc free clear glaze. This one, when I first glazed it, it looked like it was going to be way pinker than it ended up, and that's because pink is the trickiest of all glaze colors. And the exterior has three coats of honeydew and three coats of moss mist. And that is on top of the purple underglaze. Come in! I use the zinc free clear because I noticed that other clear glazes sometimes are cloudy. This one was glazed by Amber Landreth. Oh, show the inside of that one again. So are you going to try sodium silicate? Let me know in the comments. To learn more, check out one of these videos.